Hello everyone and welcome back to Always Watching. Today I'm continuing my coverage for the Tribeca Film Festival with the film Arze. So briefly, Arze follows a single mother who takes her son on a journey across Beirut to retrieve a stolen scooter. Directed by Mira Shahib, this is a very impressive directorial debut, which reminded me of the bicycle thieves in the best way possible. We are introduced to Arze supporting her son, an agoraphobic older sister. She is an entrepreneur that sells homemade pies, which she delivers on foot with her son. And although business is booming, she's not really able to keep up with demand. In an attempt to expand, Arze, without permission from her sister, steals her jewelry to buy a scooter. And of course, everything goes horribly wrong once the scooter is stolen. This film feels very true to life. We're essentially watching an ordinary person who's placed in a moment of crisis. And although the scooter affects the entire family, it definitely affects Arze the most. Her decision to buy the scooter was coming from a place of desperation. She steals the money to buy it and then it is in turn stolen. And ironically, she is now worse off than when she began. In buying the scooter, she had really compromised herself in hopes that it would be worth it. The movie is very interested in peeling back these moral standards. Like how does a moment of crisis affect someone's character? Initially, when the scooter is stolen, there's absolutely no sympathy for Arze. It's almost like it was it's a punishment for trying to become successful in Beirut. As the movie goes on, we realize this is not the first time she's compromised herself. Throughout the film, Arze recruits her son to try and get back the scooter that he lost. The more time they spend together, the more horrified her son becomes. He's watching her lie, take on multiple identities, and basically just compromise herself to no end to get the scooter back. And the question is, is this really about the scooter? And her son as well as her sister are just kind of shocked by her multiple faces and how much she, she'd been hiding from them this whole time. The longer this ordeal goes on for, Arze becomes incredibly exhausted and she starts to reveal a number of secrets that she's kept to herself. And these secrets, of course, shock her family because it's not so much like how far is she willing to go, it's like how far has she gone already. The scooter is a very interesting metaphor because Arze buys the scooter in an attempt to provide for her family, to make money. And then you realize as the film goes on that this has nothing to do with providing for her family. It has to do with really keeping her family together. Arze has withheld a lot of information from her family under the assumption that they won't be able to handle it. So she takes on kind of a heroism and this heroism becomes untenable. And I felt like the setting really helped tell the story because they pick a number of, I would say, like humble locations. There are no landmarks. Arze travels all through Beirut, and Beirut appears to be a very sort of segregated city. Every area has its own religious beliefs, its own values, its own way of doing things. And so Arze kind of has to navigate each of these parts in hopes of finding her scooter. And from what we gather of Arze's journey, like this is a very divided country. Throughout the film, we can see protests in the background and it seems politically the country is in turmoil. There's a lot of protests asking for change. But even then, theft is at an all time high and even the people who want to stay are trying to get out. In addition to the setting, I also like the tone of the film. Like it did a good job of balancing humor with drama. Like there are parts of this film where I genuinely laughed out loud. I think that's why this movie feels very, very realistic. What makes Arze very unique throughout the movie is that she never entertains the idea of leaving Beirut. She has an inter interesting line in the film about how everything has always been taken away from her. And so this is part of her, her character. She's a person who stays. She's not a person who leaves. Her husband left her. Her son is trying to escape to Europe. And everything that we learn about Arze, all the, all the secrets that she's kept hidden, really highlight the sacrifices that she's made to not just keep her family together, but to make this place her home. All these secrets were literally burying her alive. And by the end of the film, she's almost just exhausted. Like she just doesn't have the energy to lie. And I think in part, this is a movie about a mother and what she's willing to do for her family. But it's also about the possibility of a better life in a place that so many are fleeing. So I thought this was a beautiful film. 
again, like I would recommend you watch this in the Bicycle Thieves. Like it, it, it makes a great companion piece. But yeah, I was very impressed. And you guys let me know what you think. And until next time.